Hey everyone, John with Simplice here, and I'm going to quickly walk through how to use the responsive tool in Simplice. So by default, Simplice is responsive, but there may be cases where you'll want to fine tune your settings for each device with. Right now I'm on a page and it's looking nice on desktop, but if I shrink the browser a little bit, you'll see there's these areas where the text is breaking or it's just a little too large for smaller devices. So jumping on back to the editor here, I'm going to click the responsive tool here and let's go to a desktop view. And now if I highlight this text, I can make an on-screen adjustment to the text size. So this will size down this text only for the desktop view. It won't affect the other views. So this is a really handy tool to just make uh, changes at each device with and just ensure your content is always looking its best. I'll make some sizing adjustments here. And I'm going to go jump on down to, let's jump on down to the tablet view. Now you'll see on tablet, this headline text up top is certainly too large. So I'm going to go to my section options here in responsive mode. And you'll see the first option is to reset mobile changes. So you can use this if you're not happy with an adjustment. You can just reset it back to what you had it previously. And you'll see in a second here. There we go. Now you can see it's reset back to what I had before. And jumping back to the section options, the next is copy changes from a breakpoint. So let's grab the desktop stylings. And there you can see now it's replicated the stylings I had set for desktop. I'm going to do some additional adjustments here. It's looking good. And now let's go back to section. And there's also this option to set the visibility for this breakpoint. So this is really handy if you want to hide content depending on device width. So for example's sake, let's just hide it here for the tablet wide view. I'm going to go back to my live page. And if I adjust the browser here, you should see that section be hidden for desktop. And there we go. See, there's nothing more to scroll down to because it's hidden. If I widen this, there it is again. Shrink down to mobile. It's still there. So that's a really handy feature to have. Um, we'll go back to the editor here. All right, going back to the section options area, turn that back to visible. And you'll see here, we also have the option to adjust the spacing for different elements depending on device width. So if you want to adjust content to be closer together from mobile, that's handy to have. And let's go down to tablet portrait. I'm going to copy changes once again, uh, just to save some time. That's looking pretty good. Um, and now for the tablet portrait and mobile options, we have some additional column options here. So here I can actually set a stacking order and you'll see what this does. It's going to essentially allow different contents to appear differently in order. So the higher the value, the later in the stacking order it'll appear. You can also add some spacing here between these. And now we have one last additional option here for the mobile views is this column mode. So if I click multi, you'll see now it's disabled the default single stacking order and it's retained the desktop columns. So essentially you just use that feature if you don't want your content to stack to the single column default for mobile devices. And it looks like I have some excessive spacing here that's uh, being retained from the desktop view. So I'm just going to remove it for this view. I'll scroll on down so I can resize this a little smaller. One thing I'd like to note is that the responsive mode isn't meant to be an exact representation of how it's going to look on a live page. It's 
more or less just a guide to ensure your content and sizings will uh, transition nicely for each device width. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, let's go down to mobile here. Obviously this needs a little bit more work. Uh, we'll go once again, copy from the tablet portrait. Go ahead and make some additional uh, text sizing adjustments for mobile. And because we copied the stylings from the tablet portrait, it looks like we're still in multi-column mode. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and set this back to single stack mode. Click that. And that's looking much better now. And I'll make some other little adjustments here. It looks like there's too much space, so I'm going to reduce the spacing here. Just that. Actually, I'm going to reduce the spacing on the entire section. Okay, it's looking pretty decent. Um, one last option is you also have the option to adjust the background position for your cover section. So if you're not happy with the way it's cropping, you have the option here to adjust its position to something a little bit more favorable. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it centered here. Save. And let's preview the page now with our responsive edits. Let's quickly adjust the browser. And there you can see our content is beautifully transitioning for mobile. All right, well, that about covers it for using the responsive tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep on rocking with some please.